hey friends welcome to the youtube channel all about electronics so this question is related to the nmos transistor and here for the nmos transistor we have been given the four statements so here we have been asked to find which one of the following statement is not correct so let us find that so here we have been given that the given nmos transistor has the long channel that means in this case we can neglect the effect of the channel length modulation that means here we can assume that this lambda is equal to 0 moreover here we have been given that this nmos transistor is biased in the linear region and the value of the vds is equal to 50 millivolt so considering this let us find out which one of the following statement is not correct so for the n channel mosfet or for the nmos transistor this is the id versus vds characteristic and we know that whenever this vds is more than vgs minus vt at that time the mosfet operates in the saturation region and whenever the value of the vds is less than vgs minus vt at that time the mosfet operates in the linear region that is this region so whenever this vds is more than vgs minus vt at that time the drain current id can be given by this expression that is equal to 1 by 2 times mu n times cox times w by l times vgs minus vt whole square and whenever this vds is less than vgs minus vt at that time the mosfet is operating in the linear region and at that time this drain current id can be given by this expression so here we have been also given that here the value of the VDS is equal to 50 millivolt. That means here the value of the VDS is negligible. And if we take the square of that term, then that will be even smaller. So here we can neglect this term. And approximately we can say that here this drain current ID is equal to mu n times COX times W by L times VGS minus VT times VDS. So now what we will do? We will differentiate this drain current ID with respect to VDS. That means now this del ID times del VDS can be given as this mu n times COX times W by L times VGS minus VT. And now if we see the on resistance of the MOSFET in the linear region or this RDS on, then that is the inverse of this term. So that is equal to the inverse of this del id divided by del vds and that is equal to 1 divided by this mu n times cox times w by l times vgs minus vt that means here this is the expression of the rds on and here this mosfet is used as the resistor so in this way we found the expression of the RDS on. So now let us see the four statements that is given in the question. So the first statement is if the device width W is increased then the resistance will decrease. So if you see this expression then here if the W increases then the RDS on will reduce. That means indeed this resistance value will decrease. That means the first statement is the correct statement. Similarly. The second statement is if the threshold voltage is reduced that means here this vt is reduced then the resistance will decrease and that is also true because here when the vt reduces then this vgs minus vt will increase and as this term increases then the rds on will reduce so we can say that the second statement is also true similarly if you see the third statement then in the third statement we have been given that if the device length L increases, then the resistance increases. And that is also true. Because as the L increases, then the W by L will reduce. And due to that, this RDS on will increase. That means here, this third statement is also true. And now, if we see the fourth statement, then here we have been given that when the VGS increases, then the resistance also increases. So let us check that. So here, when the VGS increases, then this VGS minus VT will also increase. And due to that, 
this rds on will reduce so we can say that the fourth statement is incorrect that means out of the given four statements this a b and c are correct one while the d is incorrect and therefore we can say that for the given question this d is the correct answer